Hey everybody, this is yet another update, but this one is specific to what's going on with the shows and streaming and how we're going to move forward with that with YouTube and Facebook, both being uh, needed and semi-convenient and both being assholes in different ways, I'm going to explain. So, you know, I've got a lovely relationship with YouTube where they like to shut down channels because we try to broadcast political speech, which is uh, protected under the First Amendment, or used to be anyway, and uh, companies like CNN and, and other MSM agencies copyright the material that is political speech and protected and therefore gets shut down on YouTube channels when we broadcast it as independent networks and that causes problems. That's why I had five Bernie 2016 TV channels is because I'd get one suspended for streaming and I'd create another one and start streaming on that one. YouTube, however, has really upped the bar as in terms of being dicks and so they cut revenue sharing to creators creators being like little creators like me big huge entities that work with youtube msm entities greedy corporations they're doing just fine because they're the ones really controlling the game here uh, uh, you you and me the 99 percent they cut revenue sharing by 90 percent and uh, they've decided to block content really from from being monetized that is uh, politically charged or anything they deem advertiser unfriendly. If I say the word Nazi a whole bunch of times or I smoke a joint on camera, they're identifying this stuff and deciding that it's advertiser unfriendly. That's censorship. But they can do this because YouTube's terms of service basically says we will do whatever we want. And if we choose to be a dick, we can because you're agreeing to these terms of service if you want to use our service, which we know you want to use because it's the Walmart of video in 2017. And that's why we need it as independent uh, networks is because uh, we need reach. We have to get our content into the hands of the people. And that is well, where most of the people, uh, YouTube is 50% of Google global search volume understand that and uh, ages 40 and under go to YouTube to search first before they go to Google search in general you understand they're searching videos so it's very powerful in terms of independent media now I'm not gonna broadcast the awake show on YouTube anymore or Chad talks with on YouTube anymore because I'm just tired of YouTube we're gonna start broadcasting that to Facebook because Facebook doesn't have a punitive copyright system yet and uh, there's, there's, there's a benefit there. There's a benefit of reach on Facebook. I can potentially reach a lot more people than I can on YouTube. Uh, downside is Facebook is a crappier broadcast system all around, and I don't like their comments, and I don't know that we can even moderate the comments, so we'll see how that goes. The event will disappear afterwards, which is fine by me, because I will save a hard copy, and then we will chop it up into segments and put those segments on YouTube, and that way if one gets nailed for copyright for some reason by YouTube, I can deal with it. Um, in terms of Bernie Sanders rallies and other big, like Our Revolution events, Unity Tours, things like that, I'll probably still broadcast those to YouTube because I can deal with copyright issues in there and take out a section of things. Special engagements, special things like uh, the Awake broadcast we did the other day, that got nailed by YouTube copyright. I mean, I had permission from Myron Dewey, the filmmaker, to, to restream. Doesn't matter because he used a piece of content in there that was copyright and owned by some asshole on YouTube. It's the little piece of incidental drums, 50 seconds, 50 seconds of incidental drums in a very powerful moment in the film. And if I were to chop that section out, it would be ridiculous. It would ruin the entire film. Uh, and uh, there's nothing I can do, right? So I can't even stream it and then make it private because if I try it again, now that it's been identified, it's going to get shut down in a heartbeat. Because these guys blocked it, blocked the entire video worldwide. That's what happens on YouTube. If one content creator finds three seconds of their shit on your 20-hour video event, they will block or can block the entire thing worldwide because they choose to do so. That's how punitive and abusive YouTube's copyright system is. And if I file a dispute and say, you know, I had permission, blah, 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 then they will penalize me again for arguing with them. I've had this happen. I've got it documented on all the five channels. I, I, I was actually, just point of interest, I was told by uh, a very high-level uh, lawyer with the EFF that I had a great uh, First Amendment case against CNN. Problem is, they didn't think it was a slam dunk, so they weren't, you know, just, we can't, can't take it. 
right? So that's that just lets you know how difficult those kind of cases would be where they were to get picked up. But m moving on, so uh, I, we're going to use Facebook and we're going to use YouTube. We're going to use them differently, right? So tomorrow, join us on politicalrevolution.tv on Facebook for Awake with John and Marcus, and we'll test that out. And if it goes well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll broadcast Awake, a dream from Standing Rock, as a special broadcast on Facebook, so we can get some reach for that, and, and we'll uh, promote the film and uh, awareness and, and donation to the Awake, uh, the film.org uh, website. So, there you go. That's the update. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. On Awake with John and Marcus, 10.30 a.m. Pacific, on Facebook, on politicalrevolution.tv's Facebook page. Go find that, and the link is in the description down there. Bye.